Hey there, wanna cook some finger licking chili potatoes? What's the wait then? Let's get started. Obviously, you will need two potatoes for this recipe. First, you need to peel off their skin and cut them into thin slices. They should be about this thick. Next, you will cut the potato slices like french fries. See, the shape will look something like this. Now, take the potatoes and boil them for 5 minutes in low flame. Throw in half a teaspoon salt in the mix while boiling. It will infuse the saltiness in the potatoes. After about 5 minutes, strain the potatoes and let it cool down to normal room temperature. After they will have cooled down, sprinkle half a teaspoon refined flour and rice flour on the potatoes and mix them well. You can just shake it in. This will stop them from getting stuck to each other. In a separate bowl, take 4 tablespoons of rice flour and refined flour. Add half a teaspoon salt in it. Now we will make a thick batter out of it. For this, keep adding water incrementally. <laughs> Don't put down an intact jug at the first go. It should be little on the thicker side, like this. In a frying pan, heat 2 cups of oil. Now, carefully dip the coated potatoes in the batter one by one. And deep fry them for 5 minutes in medium flame. After 5 minutes, firstly, let them cool down to the room temperature. Secondly, fry them for the second time, but for 2 minutes in medium flame. This will keep them super crispy, even after tossing them in sauce. Moving on to the veggies, you will need 10 garlic cloves. Cut and chop them into tiny pieces and fry them in about 1 teaspoon oil, not much. Throw in 3 to 4 green chilies in there as well. Of course, you want a good fresh capsicum. Thinly slice half of it and add it in the frying pan. Piece of zesty onion. Cut it in the same way as the capsicum. Always keep the shape of the vegetables same as that of the main ingredient, which in this case is Mr. Potato. Add one small spoon salt and a small spoon sugar or one teaspoon honey will also work the same. Add one teaspoon red chili sauce and one tablespoon dark soy sauce which will give the dish its main color. Look at its sizzle. Pour half a cup water in it and a mixture of 1 teaspoon corn flour with 4 tablespoon water. This will give the dish a nice thick texture. Time to toss in the fried potatoes. Give it a good and thorough mix. For garnishing, sprinkle some chopped spring onion over it and sesame seeds as well. Now that's what you call enticing. A perfect combination of sweet and spicy. Don't know about you, but I surely cannot wait any longer. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Share this recipe with your loved ones and don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button.